Hello everyone, it's Ryan and welcome back to Syntax Byte. In this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to loop through rows in VBA. So for this particular instance, I've got sort of a table here. It is not officially a table in that I have not gone to, um, where is it, format as table and selected this. If you have done that, this video should still work, but I believe there is a slightly easier or different way to loop through rows in an actual table. Uh, in this case, I just have my data sort of arranged as such. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna loop through each of these rows and I'm gonna change these phone numbers. Currently they're just 10 digits with no dashes, spaces, anything. I am going to change them to be visible phone numbers. I'm gonna add some formatting to them. So of course they are phone numbers, but I'm just gonna add some formatting to them. Of course they're all fake phone numbers for fake people, uh, but that doesn't matter. Uh, and of course I understand there's other ways to uh, do that. You don't actually need VBA necessarily to do that, but I thought it would just be something Kind of cool we could do using VBA today uh, to loop through the rows. So first off, you're gonna to need to go to your developer tab. If you don't have your developer tab, it's just in the options and to enable it. But if you're watching this video, I think you probably know how to get to the Visual Basic Editor. So to start off here, my window is a little crazy. But uh, to start off here, I actually have the format as phone number function already created for us. So we won't go over this in detail because what you want to do is probably different, but it just adds parentheses and a dash basically to a phone number. So I'm going to start off with my sub. I'm going to say format as phone numbers, uh, which is eerily close to my function name, but that's okay. So the first thing I want to do is I need to select the range of the rows that I want to loop through. So in this case, I actually want to loop through just these. I don't want to loop through the header, so I'm not going to select the header. So I want to loop through just these. And so to select that, I'm going to do uh, dim table as range, and that's where I'm going to store my range. And then I'm going to do set table equal to range, and I'm going to start at A2, and I'm going to end at range A2 dot end Excel to right dot end Excel down. So what that's going to essentially do is give me the cell that occurs when I, I sit here and I press uh, control arrow and control down. And so it basically does that and it finds that cell C21. The only case that wouldn't work is if there were gaps in my data or something like that. So you can't always use that technique, but in my case it works pretty good. Uh, and I thought I would use that technique today. So just to verify that that does what I want, I'm going to do table.select and I'm going to run the um, macro and we can see that that selected all of the data. So now my task is to loop through each of these rows and it's actually very simple. I'll show you two ways to do it today. The first is a little bit easier to understand maybe, but um, it is maybe slightly more limited and then I'll show you a slightly different way that affords more flexibility. So the first way is using a for each loop and I'll show you how to use a classic for loop after that. Uh, so using a for, for each, you can do for each row in table.rows. Okay, so table has a rows array basically and that will pass me, of course we wanna do next row. I guess it wants it to be capitalized, so sure. Uh, we will allow it to be capitalized. So just to start off, just to show you what it's doing, I'm gonna just, do message box row dot address and basically um, that's going to show me so it's a2 to c2 so a2 to c2 a3 to c3 a4 to c4 so it's giving me each row as a range which is pretty much exactly what I want perfect so now I want to access the cells within the row so how do I do that well I have a range here each row is a range, so I can do anything I could basically with this table, but on a row level. So I can do row.cells1, and then the um, index of the column I want. So one is just for the row. Um, you could put two or something that would get you one more row down, but in most cases you probably always want this to be one if you're trying to loop through the rows. And then the column I want. So in my case I'm going to do three dot value equals format as phone number row dot cells one three dot value so i'm going to pass that value in there and i'm going to format it as a phone number and that should basically do exactly what we want it to do so i'm going to go ahead and run it 
nothing appears to happen, but there we go. All our phone numbers are formatted. Okay, so just before I end the video here, I am gonna show you one more way to loop through the rows that might offer a little bit more flexibility or some people might just like the syntax a little bit better. So if you've got what you need, definitely feel free to leave the video, but if you wanna show, see how to do it with a classic for loop, I'll show you how to do that as well. So to start, I'm just gonna recreate my random phone numbers. Okay, so with that done, I'm gonna modify this to use a regular for loop. So what I can do then is I can do for i equals one to table.rows.count. And so we're using that, but actually this time we're just taking the count. And so that's actually just gonna give us, I'm gonna do the next i, and that's actually just gonna give us the index of the row. So now what we can do in here is we can do table, and then row index, that's where I'm gonna put i, and then same thing. So I can choose my column index three dot value equals format as phone number table i three dot value. And this should basically do uh, the exact same thing. We'll go ahead and run it. And you can see it does the exact same thing. So. I personally actually almost prefer this syntax. It's just a little bit clearer to me what's going on. Um, I'm just, you know, selecting the row using uh, an I and a regular for loop, and that's counting up as things go. Uh, it's a little bit clearer to me. If you wanted to access a row back or a row forward, it might be a little bit clearer. You can do it the other way, doing cells two, for instance, to access one more row down. I'd give that a try and it does work, but at that point I feel like it's almost kind of like trickery. I'd rather just do it this way. Anyway guys, it's been Ryan on the Syntax Byte. I hope you found this helpful and that you now know how to loop through rows in Excel. If you have any more questions, you can definitely put them down below. And if you like the video, give it a like. If you wanna see more Excel videos and other technology videos, definitely subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.